Hello everyone, I'm Huskerman, and today we're building a villa in this cozy custom forest landscape. So let's get started! The location I have selected for today's build is in the middle of a spruce forest. The building will be a beautiful old-fashioned house inspired by Norwegian villas. Leading up to the house, I'm gonna build a road with large oak trees hanging over it, turning it into this wonderful little scenic place. Starting with the first floor, I built a foundation out of tough blocks, because we all know a good house needs a tough foundation. I also laid out where I wanted the veranda and entrance, which we will return to later. I wanted the walls of the building to be white, so I used white, wool, bone, and a few different quartz blocks. I put spaces for big windows on all sides of the house, and to separate the floors and add some contrast, I laid out spruce logs along the wall. I then moved on to building out the windows and the sides of the house, sprucing it up with some trapdoors and slabs to shape up the windows, and a line of trapdoors going along the bottom of the wall to give it a nice outline. I also built pillars on each corner of the house and in between some of the windows to add more structure and shape to the outside of the house. I put a front door in and moved in to the inside wall. I decided to go with pink, so I used cherry planks, white terracotta, and smooth quartz to give it a textured, light pink look. Then I put jungle trap doors in the window to give the windows a checkered look. On the second floor, I'm continuing the wall texture from the first floor, giving it that marble look. Having small windows above all the big windows from the first floor, and two grand windows on the ends of the house. I filled out the second floor floor with a checkered pattern of alternating oak logs. Now back to the front porch and balcony section. This is the part that makes the build speak. I wanted it to brighten up the front with lots of interesting shapes. I used a combination of bamboo, birch, and sandstone that contrasts against the spruce slabs. I got to use the hanging signs as fences here, which I love the look of. Working our way around the side of the wall, I outlined the windows with spruce trapdoors and put fences and fence gates above them. These are gonna sit right under the awning, giving shape and a sense of structure to the build. I also outlined the large windows on either end of the build. Back to the front, I built the part above the balcony. I used some glazed terracotta here to add a nice decorated section just like on the rest of the build I outlined it with spruce to give it more shape and structure and I loved how this came out after I outlined the sides of the roof I gave the top some shapes and added some spiky bits to the build because I like roofs with spiky bits I wanted to give the roof a brick tile look I used bricks copper and mud bricks to texture the roof out and that's it for the exterior of the build and I'm so happy with how it turned out a wonderful villa in the forest but we need a bigger better forest so that's what we're going to do next to fill out the area around the road and the house I wanted some large oak trees hanging over the road, creating a beautiful archway of leaves leading up to the house. After designing some trees and figuring out where to put them, I got to it. I wanted them to blend in nicely with the spruce forest, so I went with the simple solution of sticking to the same blocks as spruce trees, which I honestly think is a good look for these trees, which was a fun discovery. Turns out you don't need to use oak wood to make oak trees, you can use any color and palette you want. Although I suppose at a certain point you might have invented a new tree in total. Be creative, that's what Minecraft is for after all. But enough rambling. As you can see, the trees are done. The vibe of the area completely changed. It gave exactly the feel I was going for, with thick tree trunks and leaves hanging over you, almost like a massive parasol giving shade in the hot sun. Maybe it hides a secret HQ, who knows? My favorite part has to be the archway of leaves leading in towards the house though. It has been a dream of mine for a long time to build something like this in Minecraft. Now, there is one part of builds that always seems to get neglected, namely the interior. But we're not not having that, so let's head on in and get started working on the interior. At the entrance here, I made a wall to separate off of what will turn into the living room section. I then added a wardrobe and an armor stand. Against the wall, I put a small dinner table with a nice painting hanging above. Leading up to the kitchen, I put a bench down with some candles and an amethyst on. Opposite it, I put a table with some potted herbs and a toaster using the new heavy core. Going into the kitchen itself, I built out benches and hung a big cured ham from the ceiling. A place for cookbooks, sink, shelves, and a stove. Everything you would need to cook a wonderful meal for a great adventure. And cake. Now over to the living room. I want this to have a cozy, lived-in feel, so I'm going for a mix of interior styles in this build. And I wanted that to show in this living room. So we got funky standing lamps in each corner, a big comfy leather couch, and a wonderful nice cabinet that the inhabitant of the house probably inherited and put all their silverware in. Opposite of the couch, I put a nice TV bench with a TV showing the latest and greatest in Minecraft technology. And in the corner, 
corner, I put a little reading area with a cute table and reading chair. And to finish the living room, I built a coffee table with more cake. Now how about we head up the stairs and get started on the upper floor? I put some nice greenery to surround the stairwell and to brighten up the feel of the room. I want this to tell the history of the person who lives here, so I decided they were experienced adventurers. We gotta show off their journeys and stories, right? I decided to flesh out this room, fill it with armor stands, trophies and things of value. I made a whole display wall with paintings depicting great battles, lined with textbooks about everything an adventurer needs to know. It's at the end here that I'm really showing off their adventuring career with even more artifacts, golden armor, guild banners and a dragon's head. A massive pile of gold and a big table to plan adventures on. Piles of pots and shulker boxes of loot. Now that's it for the interior of the build and I'm so happy with how it came together. It feels like this truly made the place feel alive. Just a place that's dense and full of stories. For some reason there was just something about the living room that did it for me here. And I will definitely be taking what I've learned from the process of building this into later builds. And that's not just saying things I've learned from the interior but everything in this build. Now how about we head on down and take a tour of the place shall we? And there we go, the build is done. And I'm so happy with how it came out. As you can see here, I put a bit more effort into the little landscape area coming towards the house here. So I put in a lot more greenery, a lot more plants and bushes in the background here. And I'm so happy I did because this truly feels a lot more like a real forest now. Like a lot of plants going along in the, the ditch here and then mushrooms and stuff like that. And I, I just think it's so cool having this archway of trees leading up to the house. I'm just, ah, I love this. I love love this you have that big oak tree leaning on over it creating this sort of nice framing of the house filled in some bushes and stuff using the tough blocks for the foundation here turned out to look great so i can definitely recommend that now let's head on in through the wonderful front porch here and the first thing we see is the little hallway here with... Last time in the Hobbit Hall, I put nice clothes up, you know, some green clothes and some, like a leather hat and stuff. No, this time it's netherite armor because this person is an adventurer, just like me. I thought this looked fun as a little toaster thing. And then I put some different plants here, like they're herbs you use for cooking. And here is the kitchen. Hung up a piece of mangrove to make it look like a, a big salted ham hanging from the ceiling. Here's a little sink. We got some cutting boards and some vegetables ready to cut. This looked great as a little cutting board to the fletching table. And here we got a soup brewing. Uh, you're quite hot as you can see. Now let's have a piece of cake. Oh. And let's head on to the living room, which is probably my favorite room here, to be honest. We've got ourselves some wonderful lamps, which I thought were really fun, and they kind of remind me of candy. And here we have our big leather couch to sit down and just uh, absorb and relax after a long day of adventuring. Wonderful little cabinet. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure we can find some hidden secrets in little nooks and crannies in there. Here we got ourselves our TV. Little reading corner. So now let's head on up the stairs and this is where it really shows who this person is. An adventurer or warrior or, you know, somebody's got a lot of stuff at least. Made a little uh, banner here. Thought it'd be fitting as a little adventurer's guild banner or something. Very happy looking banner. I like it. Here we have a big display of some of the new paintings. I thought they fit very well into a warrior's hall. And here is a little table. I thought about putting a map here, but I decided to just go with this since, uh, you know, let's let's pretend this adventure is having a break now. So he decided to put a put a nice long table runner up to so make it look nice, you know. Of course, gotta have piles of gold. And let's head out to the balcony. Oh, what a wonderful view, huh? Now that's it for today's video. And if you want to see more videos about building in both survival and creative, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and check out my other videos on screen. Thanks for watching. I'm Huskerman and I'm out.